Hey there, chemistry enthusiasts! Today, I'm going to dive into the fascinating world of azeotropic distillation. It might sound complex, but stick with me, because it's truly magical. So what exactly is azeotropic distillation? Simply put, it's a technique used to separate liquid mixtures that have an azeotrope, a mixture that boils at a constant temperature and maintains the same composition in both liquid and vapor phases. This means normal distillation doesn't work because the components can't be separated by boiling alone. Now let's talk about the star of the show, the entrainer. An entrainer is a substance added to the mixture to break the azeotrope. It changes the boiling points of the components, allowing them to be separated. Common entrainers include substances like benzene, cyclohexane, and toluene. Here's how it all goes down. Picture this. You have a mixture of ethanol and water. Adding an entrainer, say benzene, disrupts their interaction. As you heat the mixture, the benzene forms a new, lower boiling azeotrope with the water, leaving ethanol behind. When the benzene water azeotrope vaporizes, it can be condensed and separated, leaving you with pure ethanol. But what about the apparatus? A typical azeotropic distillation setup looks similar to a regular distillation apparatus but has some key differences. You'll need a distillation column, a condenser, a receiver, and of course, the entrainer. The column is packed with materials to increase surface area, allowing better contact between liquid and vapor phases. This helps in achieving a more efficient separation. Azeotropic distillation is used in various industries. For example, in the petrochemical industry, it helps in the separation of hydrocarbons. In pharmaceuticals, it's used to purify solvents. And in the beverage industry, it's essential for producing high-purity ethanol for spirits. Isn't it amazing how a simple addition of an entrainer can make such a difference? It's like adding a secret ingredient to your favorite recipe and transforming it completely. Now next time you hear about azeotropic distillation, you'll know the science behind the magic. Whether it's in your lab experiments or industrial processes, you'll appreciate the ingenuity that goes into this technique. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating chemistry content. See you next time.